Yo, what's up, everyone? Today, let's learn how to move a part inside of our workspace using a GUI. So inside of my workspace, let's go ahead and spawn in a part. This is going to be my moving part. So I'm renaming it to moving part. So inside of starter GUI, let's go ahead and add a screen GUI. And then inside of that, let's go ahead and add a frame. Now inside of this frame will be my text buttons that will control my part and tell it where to move. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about five, yeah, five text buttons, one for forward, left, back, and right. And then for my fifth button, it's going to be my reset button to reset the position of my part to its original starting position. Okay, so once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna be renaming all my text buttons to its corresponding movement. So forward, back, left, right, and then my reset part to, my reset text button to reset. I'm actually gonna change the color of my reset button to red. Okay, so once that's done, let's go ahead and add a local script inside of my frame. Okay, so we have a few variables. Uh, one is referencing the moving part inside of our workspace. The starting position of our moving part, so the position that our moving part is at currently, as well as the variable for our frame itself. So we're gonna go ahead and create five functions. Each function, each text button is going to have a function for itself. So for our first function is going to be our forward text button. Anytime a player clicks on this forward GUI text button, then the position of our moving part is going to go up. So to move up, to move forward, our Z axis is going to be equal to one. So it's going to get the current position of our moving part and it's going to add one to the Z axis. So because it is a positive one, if we go ahead and set up the next function for our back button, you'll see that it's negative one this time because we're just going backwards. So the same concept goes for our left and right functions as well. And then we're gonna go ahead for our reset function. We'll have it so that our moving part position is going to be equal to the part starting variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out our script. Press up, so it moves up, left, back, right. And then let's go ahead and click reset. So cool. And then if we click on reset, it just resets back to its original position. So cool. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. Your support means a ton. Have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.